we are still looking for people with a cancer. Please get in touch. Is it health at uh, H1? Yeah, what, what is the correct um, uh, email address so I can put that Dr. up? Dr. can you tell us the correct email address people can get in touch with? Yes, I just posted it into the chat. It's doctors oh. at spaceshipinstitute.org. Doctors at the spaceshipinstitute.org. We uh, we take the case up. We need uh, we we need to make a data. Let me explain to you what is our position. Keep the map there, please, because uh, I'll let you carry on, Rick. We need to see how and the way the uh, what you call the uh, technology on a cancer works in different cancer strength in different ages, different groups, and different cancers or tumors. It's a huge pressure uh, because uh, what we understand and what we're working with the um, authorities is that they have, they, it's unprecedented for such a fast reaction with no side effect. So, the, we've been asked uh, in uh, now that Keshe Foundation sets up the standard for the plasma technology for health. This is what we are trying to do. We, we are, we, they said, we have no, we see the results, it's correct, we see diabetic is gone, it's correct, people, we interview correct, people in different countries that are reporting, but what's the standard? So, we are working to make a standard, new standard for plasma technology and application of farming, food, health and instrumentation and others. So, our priority at the moment sits with the cancer research. If you have a cancer, if you want to join the cancer trials, these trials is done by providing the new injections and other methods. I wish I had the freedom from the doctor to show the pictures. You will understand how a child will hold the mother for your lifetime. The mother is not going to be dead. We cannot show is a private picture from the teachings, but we're looking for people with injection, with a cancer who would like to try. You can still carry on with your chemotherapy, you can still carry on with others, but we need to make a data to see the effect. We know it's non-toxic according to the research. We know the cancer cells come in the control within certain given times according to the dosage. We need to see how effective, how long we need to carry on. The trials are ongoing. Is we have already started the trials. The animal trials is ongoing at the same time, but the, uh, the scientists uh, of the governments have started their own trial themselves very fast. They bring in the patients themselves. This has to be done. If you suffer from cancer, if you want to test a new uh, path of trial, please contact doctors at uh, the Spaceship Institute. Um, the guidelines are there. We have a limited supply because we've been certified to produce so much. We cannot do more than uh, the amount which has been, uh, we've been allocated to produce. So, um, we need uh, the numbers to come up and uh, to finish the whole process because a lot of people approached us. We were not ready with the situation. Now we have solved out the situation. Um, we can accept um, number of people on this trial that we can make the numbers and we see the patterns and everything else for our injection trials. Carry on Rick, please. You see the things, doctors at spaceuniversity.org to be part of the cancer tumor, GANS direct injection trials. Everything will be done by qualified oncologists and the doctors who know what they are doing, not by in the back streets. It will be done directly with and we actually working now with uh, FDA committees in how to apply the technology in different ways and we already have volunteers from the government getting tested on. Okay, now I have a news for you. Uh, while uh, Rick has been talking in the background, I explained to you to show you the power of the cancer process. Um, we will not release the name of the doctor, and those of you who know, do not address. This is, that's why you sit in secure teachings. Dr. Klaus has references to the um, 
pictures which are coming up regarding the cancer. At this moment of time, if any person would have had this cancer, even today, thousands of women are dying because of it. What you see is a major breakthrough in the world of science. We share it openly. Dr. Klaus, would you like to share the pictures and explain, please? Yes, of course. I leave the table to you. We do not release the name of the doctor or anything else. Can you please go ahead? I go silent. Okay. First of all, I would like to thank all doctors in the medical teaching that they applied uh, the different plasma cures and devices in the last months. And this is uh, one result from a lady who had uh, breast cancer. And uh, this lady um, was treated with the health unit, plasma coil unit. And as you can see, there was also a huge infection. And she came to the doctor and she was, look, she was searching for help. And this is what uh, plasma technology is able to do. You see at the picture at the bottom, uh, the uh, completely removed um, cancer. Uh, the doctor and the lady also has the report from the hospital before and after. And uh, this happened uh, during the medical teaching. We have always been in contact with each other. The doctors are in contact with each other. They form the network all over the world to exchange the knowledge. And yes, this is just one case where we can show the power of plasma technology. Let me explain that we understand the picture. Picture on the left with two half white uh, paint in the middle or white sheet in the middle. A lot of women, when they have the breast cancer, initially they ignore it. They think it's going to go away. I'm not going to do anything. Oh, it's a little lump. It's a little thing. And then it progresses to the first hole. You see on the left hand, on the middle of the picture, somewhere here, you see the hole. This is what I'm trying to explain. Um, this is where you see the first hole appears. Usually, depends where it is, it comes near the nipple. And then it grows to this picture here. This is actually the breast cancer tumor growing out. There are other pictures you will see is horrendous when you look at it. I've been through this and we've seen it already happens. This tumor grows and the patient dies because there is no knowledge at the moment. What you see at the bottom here, this is when the tumor has died. This is a tissue uh, expert plastic surgeon will do a reconstruction and it's done. This is the cancer totally dead. Is the scar tissue from actually this, if you look at this here, this is a tumor itself. Now, with the injection therapy, we are developing a system that we directly can inject with the data we have into the tumor and see the time of the collapse of the tumor instead of going through this process so late. So, what do you see? Any person with this tumor, which you see here, is that it's a mother which is not, will not be there for a child. This lady is only 36 years old. Is done by one of the most highly skilled doctors. It's not the back of the hotels. This is what is impressing the scientists and that's why the fast track is getting made by different governments. This is the bottom picture, it's a physical damage. A life, a woman will stay with this child for the rest of the child. Here, present time, is mother and a child or children without the mother anymore. You see the difference. Some of you women who are listening most probably know what I'm talking about because you're still playing with it. 
you don't want the chemotherapy. This technology at the moment shows no side effect, no damage. That's why we need to do it. That's why we want to expand the cancer research very rapidly. And this is done in less than 60 days. By yes, drinking some water. A, a bit more. A, a bit more than 60 days. 90 days? Yeah, I guess. With, yes. no, with no side effect. If we could reach with the knowledge we have now with the injection, this would have never happened. Because if you can, with this is what we want to create the data. If you are a prostate cancer, you are the same. Men with a prostate cancer leave it so late, oh, there is nothing, it's a drip, drip, till they see the blood and then they panic. The same process happens internally. This is what we're trying to do. This is the difference with a child to be born and brought up in the arm of the mother. She has a three-year-old child, this lady, if I'm correct. Or a child being brought up with orphan and everything else. The bottom is more or less plastic surgery. We watch, we monitor this, we showed you the feet a couple of weeks ago. Now you see <coughs> the effectiveness of the technology. We need to bring, we are inviting the cancer research organizations, we are inviting the drug manufacturers to sit on the table with us. We have the material. It's for you to develop and spread it. And if you look at it, once the research is complete, it should be very easy to operate around the world. When I showed the injections to, to the government and the officials, they just took it in their hand. When they dropped one, they, one dropped and broke. The officials wanted to hold it. They said, this is a secret to life, we are holding it. We bring the patients. We are learning. We don't know everything. But, look at it this way. A woman with this condition, there are thousands of you. I'm sure some of our, well, and what you call people are watching, are carrying this secret under their bra. There is a solution. Now, we see a solution. We don't need to go to the extent to become like this. If you see other pictures of this trial, which I've seen, it's like the, the breast has opened up, you can put your hand inside the tunnel. Actually, where you see the black and white, you can actually put your hand inside, the tumor grows beyond. It's a shock to a lot of men and a woman, seeing these pictures, but these are realities taken by the doctor. We have to change, we have the knowledge to bring the change, it's safe, According to the data, I release data only to authorities. They can see, they can check. Trial one, trial two, complete full satisfaction by the doctors, major breakthrough. We are not talking months. Now with the injections and the other things, we're bringing it down to a couple of months. We're trying, at the moment we're putting 30, 60, 90 days on it, but we can reduce it. We're seeing other things we have to do. You have a cancer, a spread across the body, we want to know. It, we don't want to sacrifice a mouse, because we don't know if it works. You're already in danger of losing, you are in danger of winning, it's your decision. We have the technology, it's on the table. It's us who's got to change. And this is the change. I've seen this five years ago, one of our listeners knows exactly what I'm talking about. Him and me watch the woman every week. I carry her breast in Balletta. A quarter of it is in the hospital in, uh, uh, in Holland. When I said, if you go back to the teachings, that the, when the doctors opened the tumor, it was black inside, you see the tumor was totally black. Is there. The infection can be done, the tumor does not grow. 
we are strong enough, we are powerful enough, we are correct enough to be able to show this. No organization does, because now with millions of supporters around the world, we can show this, take these pictures to an oncologist and say, this is the breast, this is it, that's what is it, why is the woman now, there is no breast cancer. No operation, it hasn't done the surgical, what do you call, plastic surgery to be done. We monitor what happens in six months time, in a year time to this. But now you see, impossibilities is in front of you. Go on the internet and look at the picture of different breast cancers, then you see how real this is and what it is and you understand it. We need to expand the knowledge of the man by the man without sacrificing more animals. I was explaining this to a scientist very recently. Why do some of the trials, some of the medicines come up with negative and other people pay for it? Because it carries the soul of the animal which suffered because of the man. The medicine is already damaged. If the doctors and researchers understand the animals have a soul. It's beautiful, if you understand what is on the screen, for a researcher like me, who's been searching for 40 years, this is a gift. This is thanking the knowledge for allowing one woman to be a mother to her children, or her child. What we are interested to see is, if this lady now creates the immune system for cancer, this is our next stage of development, watching, monitoring. Most probably we monitor this woman for years, now that the body has learned to reject cancer, would it build its own self-immune system? Can we create serums through this technology that we can allow women have not to grow any more cancer? Yes, Rick. Um, there's another mother I think you're familiar with who would like to ask a, a question and uh, was, was looking for an opening. Um, perhaps it would be appropriate. Yes, go ahead, please. Uh, let me see if uh, I'm sure she's... Caroline, can you... Uh, can you go ahead there? Yes. Can the doctors put a more mm, better guideline what to pay attention to for young mothers, for women, how to spot and how to react to the first signs of abnormalities. Not to These stay are all our and... Carry on, sorry. Carry on. Because, because there is such a fear in a lot of young women, even in young girls, because there are simply no guidelines. If we could put some guidelines up for young women and girls from very early stage, how to spot the abnormalities and how to guide them where to search for information and answers that they don't have to be scared to prevent this kind of huge damages. I think most of the, these are on the internet, the, what to look for, how to do it, <coughs> how to prepare yourself for it and, and not to get involved in it. Uh, but when it comes to this point, um, there is nothing can be done. We see every day thousands of women die like this with these kind of tumors. But Thousands. if we have, but if we can we have, organize like, teaching, we can organize teachings, but that expense and uh, it uh, doesn't reach everybody. But uh, teaching of how even preventing the cancer tissues to be created uh, is important. The the prevention comes from the uh, from the beginning of the life of a girl. There is a very big hypocrisy. 
Thank you very much, Caroline. There is a very big hypocrisy that men think it's only women who die of breast cancer. Breast cancer in men is very prevalent, very high. Very high. It is not. The, the hypocrisy of us, we are men and they are women, has to has has got to be put to bed. It's the same body in different size and different shapes in different parts. We are all open to all diseases equal in respect of gender. And uh, it's the same with men with different cancers or women with different cancers. <coughs> uh, we can teach. I, I was teaching our girls in front of the boys in the factory because we have five, six girls with us in the team. And I was explaining to them, you're younger, how you can protect yourself from um, osteoporosis and uh, breast cancer. And I teach this really. The boys just start going shivering. I said, boys, you're going to get it too. A woman has a menstruation, you have the same. <coughs> it was very hard for them to accept in Africa, these things are taboo. Well, when I teach them, you should see the way shiver and shake. But when they understand, they are at risk as much as they go. They have the same pattern, the same. They, 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 they highly educated, but Tabooed. I explain this in many teachings. You say, uh, uh, the girls tell you, uh, doctors tell you, it's on the internet, every month alternative ovary releases a neck. Yes, it's the same with a man. Every month alternative testicle releases a sperm. It's not that they both work every time. This is shocking to a lot of men. Ooh, the man who doesn't work, both works, both works, but one month in gap. It's the same with your lungs. <coughs> your lungs, one of them works every hour, the other one rests. It's the same with your nose, one nose works, the other one takes rest. It's the same operation with your kidneys. They take turn. Men have cycle the same as the woman. In some, go on the internet, I always say, and check. In some states, United States, if you find your cycle as a man, you can take the same gap as you say, it's the wrong time of the month. They allow you, in some states which matured, they allow you this uh, gap, that you're not so highly efficient in that day if you sit for your exams or you have to do something. <coughs> We have to become open to the science of the creation, then we can see how we can prevent it. Cancer, especially breast cancer with women, can be blocked, can be stopped, can be reduced, the risk can be reduced if the women understand the process. It's the blockage of calcium in the uh, pipes or the channels for milk. And then, because it cannot go through, through your menstruation, the milk is deposited, is deposited from your hip into your breast, and then it becomes the cause of it. Very simple. We are looking at a system where you can wash your breast once a week, twice, once a month, that it creates a balance within the breast that any calcium extraction, any calcium concentration can be reduced into a plasma to be extracted when it's in a soft condition. We can do this. The knowledge is there. We have the knowledge. This implication of it, working with the authorities and the scientists and the doctors to be able to do. All you need to do is to wash the breasts with a specific mixture of ganses which we will release to the doctors. And it's just like you put a cream on. With the cream is a skin. Now this is with the plasma. It, it, the way we transfer the energy of the cancer out of the cancer, now, from the beginning, we don't let that energy to be created that leads to the cancer. Prevention with the new technology now for breast cancer and other cancers are so effectively easy to do. Now, 
with most of the cases which we advise, we suggest washing of the body with CO2 in the second part when there is organ. We know the result is 100%. In one case, even the doctors said, oh, we took x-ray the wrong way, MRI is the wrong side. Says, how come the brain is not the wrong side? We have found a way to a lot of problems. Those of you in Norway, where the minister attack you, take the pictures to them, says, sir, madam, you're the health minister, you tell us how you achieve this. They try to destroy you, they try to attack you. You, some of you thought, I can't take the pressure. This is your evidence. Tell the minister, Norwegian government, please explain to us how it is. You can go and meet the lady and the doctor. Let them take a delegation of the doctors, a plane would jumbo jet 500 people across to see and touch and feel and understand. We start putting more and more pictures, more and more data, more and more physical testimonial. As Keshe Foundation, we can make the change. Make this viral on the internet and let people watch it. It's in public. Be proud that you're part of the organization who has found the solution for many problems of physical man in a way with just the drinking water. I thank the doctor, I thank the whole of the Cash Foundation team. Does not matter, with little, little things you have shown over the past years, this is the result of our work, as one family. The ones who made the coil showed it works, the one who made the gas showed it works. This is a mother who can hug and love the child for the rest of her life. There is nothing bigger than gift of life. And she has received it from a very beautiful, sincere doctor who's there only to serve humanity. As I was speaking yesterday with him, he said, I don't charge anything for it. It's all free. My time, my services are free. Any other question? Yes, please. Yes. Hi, good morning. Um, you remember we had a conversation and then a lot of different things came in the way. But you asked me to remind you to bring the topic back about the wishes. And they are very important. Do you remember? Yes. You got to understand, in my household, we eat, we breathe, we live. Um, not only the technology, but the life of the Foundation. And there's always discussions and problems with discussions in how we can do things. One of the things which we have always encouraged, and now is part of the work of the Universal Council members, is for them to understand the strength of the wish, which means my wish is my command. And they start understanding gradually and seeing the results of the World Council members, especially in their own languages, that they can make a difference. You wish to move your arm, the arm moves. In the space technology this morning, I was explaining you wish to go up or down or move the reactors will respond. The wish of the man comes from a reactor, which is dynamic in all the strength. It's you who has to be able to understand if you are tuning to copper, if you are tuning to zinc, if you are tuning the strength of it to iron or hydrogen, 
or pain or change. Those of you who become close to your soul, understanding of the emotion, you'll see a lot of your wishes becomes reality. Because the more you give, the more are received, and the more become of the same path. We cannot change the man itself, but we can change or create a condition that the man can receive enough that they'll change him. Give freely, you're the top reactor, and the others are the three base. You are the giver by wish, and the more you give, there is more for them to receive, that they can add to, to feed you higher. The, the wish of the man is the most powerful tool, has ever been given to the man, through his soul. You wish to die, you wish to not to have anything to do with the son who is subordinate, the way you wanted it, you wish becomes the cancer of prostate. We just saw the breast cancer. Go and read, and in part of the teachings which you've done, why and how the cancer comes. The wish is so strong, to meet later now, it will happen. The wish of the man has to be peace, and it will become peace. You will see how hard it will become to create wars, does not matter in level and what level. They can create disturbances, but creating wars now become much and much less possible, because has become the wish of the world to achieve peace, we had enough. There are two or three nations who are pushing, and soon we've seen, we've seen the direction of the peace, war which was planned in Philippines with China, because it was our wish that did not happen. We saw the same in Syria, we see it in other part of the world, we'll see, Selling of the arms will not become an option. It becomes a no option. <laughs> Governments will become in a very short time, in the coming years, they cannot justify, they have to buy arms, jets and planes, and the nation suffer of hunger. <coughs> you will see the change of the course in the armies very soon. Nations cannot feed themselves, why should they buy arms? It's our wish to achieve peace. Uh, you wish to achieve it, enough you wish, that create the atmosphere of a link, the wish will happen. My wish is my command. If all the Keshe Foundation members, said, let's say today is the 2nd of February, let's make 21st of March, beginning of the spring, the wish of peace, world peace, in a way that the arms and armies will put their arms down in the coming time, it will happen. Promote peace for 21st of March, let's see how many people will join us, don't do anything else, just give, to the need of the man, that there is no need to war. We'll see what happens. We taught you the flight system, now we have to teach you the flight of the soul. What is on the screen, explains it. Would you like to read it? I wrote this years ago. I said, the man will come to accept this new technology, not out of love, but 
out of fear of his own existence. And we're coming to that point. Caroline in the first World Conference of the World uh, Universal Council offered the opposite and the, and the next to it. It says, I offer you peace. I offer you love. I offer you friendship. I see your beauty. I hear your need. I feel your feeling. He says, My wisdom follows from the highest sources. I salute that source in you. I cannot read the last line. Can you read it please? Let us work together. When you offer peace, it means there is no time to find a point of conflict. And this is the change we bring. This is more or less the ethos we have to work on. It's the way the science has to be used. It's the way we have to work. We promote peace. We work in two ways. We give with a hand of love, with care. But those who try to destroy peace and create conflict, we deal with them with the love of God. We let them to destroy themselves. We give them the tools to do it themselves for themselves. Now, we saw the picture of the woman with the breast cancer. If pharmaceuticals understand, means we have offered the peace from all cancers. But we have to learn together, you have to be able to develop that all the doctors can offer, doesn't matter where you are. We look at every aspect, it's not just the human, the animals, the trees, the environment. The environment of the space we travel to, if we respect it, and offer it our peace, the peace will come, because we enter in the mindset of peace, the solution will come through peace. The walls will be only in the state of the mind of the man, not the bricks on borders. Very, very strange, very strange, very, very strange. In 1990s, late 1990s, 1990s, early 1990s, when the Berlin Wall came down, Americans wrote on the aircraft hangars of Frankfurt Airport, mission accomplished that they managed to bring the wall down. Now they want to build a wall between the two countries. All right, mission failed in totality. For one nation, but not for the rest of humanity. You got to understand something. When you build walls, you build walls for those who are the abusers. 
the one who doesn't abuse, have an open arm of peace. Yes, carry on. I think that a lot of people cannot imagine the power they carry with their wish and through their wish and how to connect that wish through their emotional being because of the sincerity of how they feel about something that has been done unjust or is unjust in front of them, how to make that, to make the change, the difference through their wish. I try to circulate through my posts to explain this, but maybe Mr. Kesh can explain more in depth how to connect with your wish that it becomes reality. As in the Universal Council, a lot of members have already achieved a lot of wishes and my wish was, which is shown in this picture, that there will be one letter removed from that picture with Mr. Kesh. If we achieve one wish in peace, we have already re achieved quite a few peace wishes. They are accomplished, like Aleppo and the two which appeared in the conference itself in Rome when we had our meetings. But I think, Mr. Kesh, if you could explain more into depth how this wishing really gets accomplished in a very simple way that every woman, every man, even a child can realize and create this wish for it to appear, that would be very nice. Thank you. I think we have to go to understand what people understand of the wish. The way I understand wish is I live at peace. I looked into Russia to use the satellite nations of uh, ex-USSR as a platform for creation establishment of uh, nations with no armies. I have a good contact within the, I lived across the USSR in 1990s when you opened up. And my wish was to achieve peace that with one nation like China and Russia would open borders without military zones. And my wish was to achieve this, like opening the borders without armies between Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan and Russia, because they were neighbors. But I knew the conflict was too deep because the nations like United States would not allow it. This is how they milk money out of these things. When we came to Africa, and when we had the world what do you call it, the military, heads of militaries and the military people in the conferences. I came to realize very rapidly in the first couple of days, my wish has become achieved. Military people in the conference understood and they supported that there is a need, we can use the army for inside instead of having no borders. And now I understood why I came to Africa, because my wish was to achieve peace, I've been brought into where the peace will be used effectively. The state of the mind is the field spreading of the wish. I was with doctors a couple of days ago, he says, you, you are under a lot of stress. I said, yes, because I can't achieve with what I want to bring peace unto humanity. And it's putting a lot of pressure. Because the time is spent in destruction can be spent on development. And we are achieving it. We are achieving it in Africa. What I wanted 
to achieve in Europe, because of the military forces and the money involved, we will achieve in Africa much, much faster. That's why I was brought here. The wish was sincere, so the tools and where the souls are available for it, have been brought to position. You cannot stop a conflict in the borders of a nation, you have to stop the conflict inside your own brain. You cannot live with hate and show sincerity outside, because the soul will not carry it. A lot of people use emotion to create conflict and use it and abuse it. Try to learn to use your emotion only that will be positive then you achieve, it becomes stronger and stronger. The more you walk away from conflict, the more you walk away from division, the more you walk away from creating something to confirm your existence, work on the direction that you give more for it to become more than you already exist, because you see the change. Physical confirmation, it shows the level of, more or less, not maturity of the state of the man. We touch the souls, and they, they change themselves. By creating conflict inside yourself, you already have failed. Inside has to be the peace. With a husband, with a child. Has to be correct, not what I want, but what it makes the partner happy. Then you find through it, you find peace. Even though in times there is a confusion of conflict, it has to bring peace. I see a lot of problem coming ahead, with one man who is trying to exercise if he's got the power. But, we have taken the love of God from him. This is the only way we do. We give, we make available all the best for the man. But because of his own way, he will not receive it, unless he gets enlightened by himself. Division of the color, language and race and putting people in airports, in the prisons or whatever. Brings nothing but to still show the immaturity of the race. If I wish, I'll end the state of Israel within hours. And God forbid, if it goes anywhere, any further, I wish, and it will happen. Because I see, the cause of conflict, feeding the others to become the same. The state of Israel has to become part of the state of the world government, as a part of the world family. And we see who's inciting it. And if we make the wish, there shall be no State of Israel. I'm very open about it. I take the challenge to President Netanyahu. Bring peace, stop the conflict. The same goes with the new American President. We respect you, we honor you, both, as the heads of your nations. But use your efforts to bring peace. My wish is my command. Isolation is not a solution. Bring peace. Find a way that what is the fear to sell arms becomes a joy to be part of humanity. We have seen pressure in past few weeks, built up by Jewish lobby in the United States, in respect to people being arrested for the colors of path of belief. My wish is the end of the State of Israel as a nation, but as part of the Universal Family, as District of Israel, as part of the world government. And this will happen.
there shall not be no state, but one world part, which is for the Jews. I come from the blood, and my wish is direct. I am a Kohen. My advice goes directly to the new American president. We know you listen. We welcome you as a world leader. But respect all equal. This is my wish. We see the end of the state of Israel as a nation, but we see the province of Israel, as part of the world community, with the same dimensions and same respect. I cannot wish for more, till we achieve what we set up. Let me explain something very directly to the American President, President Trump. Use your power to create peace and harmony. Use the pen of the President to be the pen of peace. If we move against the peace, we move and remove the pen. Physical pen does not count. We take the soul. With a pen of soul, you will write. I kept quiet and I keep quiet, but in time we will see. I call again on the state of Iran. We put the hand of peace to Israel couple of years ago, we put the hand of peace out again. Let us talk. Let us work on a peace and harmony. This is my wish, and as head of the Keshe Foundation, if I carry all your wishes, we will achieve. Let's finish with a statehood, and become one nation. This is our wish. World peace, through be able to touch the world leaders, that they cannot create war. Any other question? 